Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully, you're hearing me. Let me know if you can hear me or the music. Thank you, Nora, the Explorer, <laughs> the Stock Explorer. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Annie, for the win in the chat. Thank you. Y'all relieved my anxiety right there. Hmm. All right, let me come over here. Come over here. I won't be on long. As you know, it's Talk Tuesday, so I won't be on long, but I just wanted to come in quickly because we got big news today. Thumbs up on the way in. Thank you so kindly. Hey, Elaine, I don't know if I, I think I said hello to you. Hopefully I did. The channel member, to all my channel members, thank you. Thank you for the support. Woo, hey, Dolores. Annie, let's see. I said hello to Nora, the Stock Explorer. Hopefully you are doing well, Nora. Um... Let's see, Dora Bree, how you doing? Hey there, Dwayne, how are you? Yes, I know it's early out there on the West Coast. I appreciate you being here. Hey, Callie King. Hey, Melody, how are you? Scratch and Pete, what's up? We'll be off before you start, sir. Have no fear, I know you will have your weekly premiere so at 12 15. too 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 much all right i think we have who we got in let me see how is showing that you becoming a member i guess you renewed Lydia, because you were already a member. But hello, everybody. Thank you for the share. I appreciate that, Nora. I really do. Um, all right. Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, squad, we got some big news for those who are not in squad. But you can see from the thumbnail that Megan's podcast dropped today. Ooh, and... Um, Hopefully, you all will get a chance to listen. For those that are channel members, I dropped the link to it to Spotify. If you're on Spotify, look up Archetypes, and um, yeah, you'll you'll be able to listen. Um, hey, Tier, how you doing? I would. Oh, I know, Dwayne. Let me tell you something. And he said it right there. That podcast, it was, it's awesome. Now, I'm going to get a little emotional, so y'all forgive me. Um, not to give away too much. I do hope some of you will listen, but to know that Megan touched on so much in relation to what she dealt with without actually saying it when she was in the UK and in, in, in you know, the realm of the, you know, British royal family and under the control, etc. She touched on stuff. And then we found out information that happened. And to know that the protection of the almighty, whomever that may be for you, I like to say the universe is truly protecting Harry and Meghan. So let me get into, let me just do this really quickly. So disclaimer, copyright uh, disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. 
Fair use is a use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. This video was made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature. And I will show this, although it is Talk Tuesday, each of us can change our communities. All of us can change the world. That is my favorite quote of Harry and Meghan. Now, archetypes, yes. Um, if you're not on Spotify, you're gonna miss out on some good, great, awesome content with regard to this podcast. You know, they don't do, Harry nor Megan do things half-ass. It is so well done. You just felt like you were sitting there in the room with them, her and Serena, who, you know, her best friend, um, to talk about the misconception of ambition. And we learned a lot, a little bit more about Serena, a little bit more about Megan, um, there was an incident that happened on their South African tour that all I have to say is F the British royal family for not giving them that time to breathe, hug their child, and, and just cocoon a little bit. So those that have listened understand what I'm talking about. But um, I'm going to just leave this, this up here. So... Whew. Let me say also, if you have listened to it, remember to rate the podcast. You know, be sure you you be sure Squad does what Squad does and blow it up because you know the haters are going to be trying their best to do just the opposite. So, all right. Love the conversation between two very very good friends, and um, you know, I'm just waiting for Serena to drop the word that she's with child um because it has come up that that is one of her goals to um have other children and more children so now why i have such vitriol right now for um the british royal family at this moment is that megan revealed something that no one knew because serena was even caught by surprise but when they were in South Africa, and she had given that heartfelt and the sweetest speech on um, being a sister, just being a sister to them, a woman of color, et cetera, that when they got in the car, they were told there was a fire at the, the location that they were staying at. Now, mind you, there's no smoke detectors. It's an older property. And then they were told that the fire was in Archie's room, the nursery that they had set up. So as we know, Archie's fine. And to that nanny following her gut instinct, thank you. Many times we get messages and we don't follow what our gut is telling us. But when that, when that feeling is very strong, follow your gut instinct It's something just doesn't seem like the normal. She was going to put him down, then go get her, you know, something to eat. But she took him with her. And that is what saved his life. If you can, just go out and listen. Give her the give her the listen. Um, it, it, that was very powerful. And I'm sure took us all by surprise. But yeah, forgive me, but. Okay, so I loved how she finished off the podcast with give me three words as a child that represents you and three words as an adult. So for Serena, it was as a child, <laughs> quiet, competitive, and perfectionist. But as a, an adult um, and living life and et cetera, et cetera, she's thoughtful, she's compassionate, and she's funny. And when Serena had said, you know, that tennis was chosen for her, she didn't have a choice in the path of her life, but that she would never change anything that that was a powerful moment in itself. So 
I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to jump. Well, you know, as far as how much I'm going to shut up, but I'm going to jump into the comments and get in with you all and see what you're all um, talking about. And um, hopefully you will get a chance to listen. Um, I did leave a link in the description um, to Spotify, to the podcast. So if you, you need, may need to sign up for the Spotify service, but nevertheless, you um, just give her a listen. So Annie, what she and Harry went through, Archie's life in danger. God is good. Very much so. How they're both still standing shows the strength. Um, yeah. I, I, Elaine, I was saying that myself. Now I'm really saying, how did she survive it? And come out on the other side and then, yeah, this little light of mine. Okay, everybody, don't, don't get me started because I'll start. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Navi, I don't have Spotify as of yet. We'll have to after this. Oh, definitely. You, um, you know, Archwell has um, presence on Spotify, but, you know, Archtypes is now um, where the podcast is going to be running. So, yeah. Um, let me see. Hello, Ben. How are you? It was deep. Hey, Wellness for Frugal Mama. Um Elaine, Annie, my heart broke at times. The royal family was just a waste of space. It's just. Whew. Now, as she said, they just landed and they immediately have to go to an official event. They do the event, but then the first word you're told is when you're getting back in the car. Now they had smiled. They danced with everyone. It was a positive moment. And then to be told that. Yeah, I can understand the tears that everybody there emotionally had, but then they had to get ready and go to another official event. It wasn't that they could put it off. It wasn't that they could tell them what was going on. Can you imagine now I, Now to see a lot of her facial expressions in the pictures, it brings, it brings a lot more to the surface and now we kind of get a good idea of exactly, but F them all for not allowing her to have, and Harry having that human moment of being parents to a four and a half month old and just wanting to stay and, and, and um, you know, cuddle with their child who, if the nanny hadn't taken him downstairs, could have been a completely different situation. Just saying, like, wow. Um, let me see, Elaine, the the tear will stop at this point, just trying to make it right now. Hmm. Let me tell you, it is, hey, Facing Reality, how are you? Gracie, how are you? I think I, y'all, truly today, don't, don't charge, <laughs> don't charge the heart if I miss you specifically in the channel. I know it's not that busy, but yeah, um, this has been off energy, and I don't know why today has been a little bit off. I had to check to see if it was like full moon going on because it's just been weird activity. And then to listen to the podcast and to hear that, ooh, yeah, that just really took me out. Um, hello, Maureen. These people are so evil to the point they're willing to get rid of an infant just to get at the parents. Let me tell you, I will I will leave it as Megan says, the space heater caught fire. Um I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. And um, we'll go on from there. Yeah, Annie. That right there, I'm so proud of Harry for getting them all out. Yeah. It's all that you can say, but I'm sure I'm going to listen to it again and again and again, as many of us will do. Um, because there's gems that you pick up <laughs> along the way that you may have missed. I know, yeah, after the pearl clutching moment. Because it's one thing for us to have the reaction that we did, but when you heard Serena's voice, and she hadn't even told her. Like, that's deep. That's deep. Like, 
because you know she was silenced mm -hmm. while mm -hmm. under their control. I'm just saying, okay. Woo, alrighty there. Um, hey Gladys, how are you? Any words cannot express our feeling today. Yeah, it's it it was a it was just an it was an awesome and I'm and let me just say this, Megan, thank you for sharing that because you didn't have to. Um for many of us who, you know, yell, scream at the crazies out there who come at you so hard and this campaign of hate, it definitely has to stop. Space, you got to stop this. Enough is enough. Now, that's all I can really say. I'll probably be on another level on Sussex Saturday. But yeah, right now, I'm just saying it's got to stop. Hey, Blue, how are you? I hope you're good. Um. But anyone else have any um, other comments regarding the the podcast that I may have missed? Because you know, <laughs> hey Ray, channel member. Yeah, it 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 grabs your heart, and I know some people probably like, Lord, you don't even know them. But I feel that I do. It's like family. Um, and that's, it's just scary. That's scary. They're out there doing the work. They're on an official tour. And to know that that could have happened. Mm -hmm. Now you understand why when they were separated, I think it was like for a 24 to 48 hour period. Why it was the relief that they had when they saw each other. There's a lot when we see it and we're like, oh, they're so cute. They love each other so, but there was a lot more going on, but yeah, they do. And that, that uh, moment when Harry had Archie and um, I know it was aired during the um, documentary and he's clutching Archie to his heart his chest and then she comes into the area and gives him a kiss. We understand why now? Do we understand? We understand that moment even more so now. Annie, this is definitely too raw to speak on, so I'm listening. Oh, I I understand. I overstand. So Elaine, that wrong family will not stop. They're not human. The the gray men in suits, space, chuck it up, all of them need to cut it out. Protect them. Tell them to just stop. Let your crap, let all the stuff that they're holding over your head, let it come out. People will get over it within, you know, a week or two mm -hmm, and kind of move on. It might even help y'all because then the tabloids have nothing. And then what? Okay. I'm just saying. Hey, Audrey from Nolens, How you doing? Um, okay. Why is my computer? Okay. Not wanting to work right now. That's weird. But anyway, okay. I'm trying to highlight it. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to highlight. Hey, Catherine. Um, what is Ray saying? Hi, Lane. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Nolans. That's right. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, for all those who are. Not yet official squatties, but you are squatties. <laughs> um, I do thank you for coming, but I wanted to really just kind of listen to the podcast. And then I didn't even have a topic today. I was like, so what am I going to chit chat about? Well, this dropped in our laps and here we are. So I couldn't just wait until Saturday. And um, I wanted to jump on, but. I want to thank each of you. So, you know how I do. I'm going to be very, very quick. And so we all can, those of us, you know, all our jobs, our bosses will be happy and I can get back to work and process, just process our feelings. I do hope those of you who have not listened, you will listen. There's a lot more that was discussed, um, especially around the misconception of, of, uh, um, ambition. I can get my mind together. And just the conversation with Serena. They both have such soothing voices. So yeah, you know. 
But you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. And don't forget to rate the podcast. But I'm going to quickly um, jump off. Let me just see who else has come in. Yes, have a beautiful, wonderful day. Hi, Kay. How are you? Um, Paquin, how are you? She is lovely. She really is. She really is. All right. So to those coming in, I'm sorry. Um, I'm about to end. And um, just to process feelings, listen to the podcast again, of course. And um, I will be talking to you. Twisted Thursday is coming up. And then Sussex Saturday will be right behind it. Let's pray for each other. And um, as this comment said, and I will, it brings home again. In scripture, the firstborn has the birthright, but the second son has the favor of God. If you listen to the podcast and you know about the situation that happened with the nursery, um, yeah, the favor of God is so evident. So on that note, I will say farewell. Have a good day. Rest of the day. Speak with you soon. And um, love you all. Be safe. Wear your mask. All right, everyone. Bye.